Hey, what's up? Hello, YouTube fam. I am back today with another video. Now, I might be a little late in posting this, but I wanted to add my commentary to this trending topic. Now, I'm sure many of us have heard about what took place at the large music festival, Astroworld, in Houston, Texas. But the last few days, Travis Scott has been trending all over social media. I have seen endless tweets all about Travis Scott. So about 50,000 people attended this sold out concert and it was reported that eight people were declared dead on the scene. One of the victims was as young as 10 years old, you guys. 10. Imagine that. Your kid expecting to go and have fun. Maybe it's your first concert and you don't know when you walk out the door that day that you're actually not coming back home. Awful. There have been so many tweets, videos, and TikToks that have been posted by the people who actually attended the concert. And many of them had similar things to say, stating that when Travis was on stage, there was like a demonic atmosphere. They mentioned that bodies were dropping and no one could breathe. As a person who attended Astroworld, somebody who's not like a diehard Travis Scott fan who can be kind of neutral about the situation. Um, I think it's important to put it in terms that other people understand. There was loss of life at the concert, which was very tragic. And obviously nobody's trying to take away from the the, the deaths by saying it was a, like, by bringing up conspiracy theories, but it was an atmosphere that was unlike anything I've ever felt before in my life. It felt like fear. It felt like hell. It felt like demons were around me. It just, it just felt un, it just felt unsafe. It felt scary, right? So I'm just gonna put it in terms that everybody understands. If you've seen Squid Games, and you've seen the Red Light Green Light episode, which is the first episode, um, you know how everybody walks in and expects to just be playing a game. That's literally how we all walked in. We expected just to see a concert, but. It turned literally bloody within, as soon as Travis came out, people were smushed, like smushed. If your hands were up, they were gonna stay up. They could not come back down. Like Travis came out, the first song is when everybody realized how bad it actually was. And as soon as he stopped singing, it was like green light. Everybody was trying to get out of there. Everybody was trying to push, screaming bloody murder for help. As soon as he started playing again, it was red light. We could not move, we could not do anything. People were dying, people were screaming, people were begging for help, nothing. We had to literally wait out the song to to breathe, bro. It, it felt like you had to wait for the pause in order to get some sort of air. I was not even in the front, I was towards the middle back and it was, thankfully it was not that crowded, but I still felt that way. I can't imagine what the people at the front felt like. I've seen a lot of videos like this on TikTok and many people were explaining that they felt very similar feelings as to what this girl was saying. While some people might be like, oh, these people are exaggerating. The fact of the matter is that if you were not there, you do not know what these people went through. You do not know what they experienced. I find it crazy that there are so many people who are saying the same thing. Now, could some people just be doing it for clout? Absolutely. Some people could just be making stuff up. But at the same time, I wasn't at that concert. I don't know what the experience was there. And I will say, while I don't really buy into all of these conspiracy theories, this is not the first time that I've heard people explain that they felt like there was a demonic atmosphere or like they were kind of in hell when listening to a certain artist. Now it was announced that eight people were pronounced dead on the scene. And as of recently, it's actually now nine people that have died due to Astroworld. The last person that just passed away was hospitalized and died while in the hospital. It's very sad, very unfortunate. I believe the person was just 22 years old and they had injuries, severe injuries that caused their death. I am not a Travis Scott fan. I haven't really listened to his music and haven't really cared to. I'm sure I've heard something if it's been on the radio, but like I said, I'm not really a fan. But 
These last few days, there has been a lot of tea that has been spilt and information spread about his character. And I really don't believe that he's a good person. I know that's like, that's probably not great to say, but this is just my opinion. I learned that he, it is very typical for him to encourage his fans to quote unquote rage at his concerts and start fights. And it's just like, why? Why? If you guys watch I'm Aloho, I love her channel. She's a very popular YouTuber here on this platform. She just posted a video on this and she gives a lot of great context about his past concerts. You guys should check it out. I don't want to play the blame game today in this video. I don't want to put blame on this man that it's absolutely 100% his fault that these people were injured, that people died. As an artist on stage, I don't really know exactly what they could see. Now, I know I'm sure he saw that ambulance that was in the crowd because I think his backup dancers tried to tell him like, hey, stop the music, but we won't get into that. I will say it must be hard being up on stage and an artist only has so much control. But here's why I do not care for Travis Scott, okay? This is my issue with him. Number one, old news has resurfaced recently because of Twitter <laughs> that he stole music from Victoria Monet. Okay, here is a screenshot of a past article. I believe this was from 2013. Just kidding. I don't know where I pulled that year from. It was from 2018. But in the article, she notes how Travis Scott took files from her producer, Tommy Brown, and her, and he took them to Kanye and told Kanye that he produced the songs. He also took a hook that Victoria Monet wrote, brought the hook to Tiana Taylor for her to do, and he told Tiana to change it up a bit. I guess somehow the producer was able to find this out and found out that Travis took the files. Later on in the article, Victoria Monet notes that she believes at his core, he is a good person. Now, maybe she was not trying to make a big deal out of the situation, but sis, nah, that's some foul, messed up stuff, okay? He's a thief. Number two, he fired his manager for being epileptic and having a seizure. So I found this one on Twitter and there's also a video from his former manager explaining this whole situation. So while Travis Scott and his manager were at a party, his manager started to have a seizure and Travis and this other guy walked away, didn't do anything, didn't call 911. They just walked away. I believe they walked out of the party and somehow the manager was able to get to the hospital. I'm guessing somebody dialed 911 for him. But Travis did not care to check up on him. It was actually the manager that reached out to him, I think, the next day. And Travis made it clear that he didn't want a manager that may be, quote, shaking on the ground and shit. What? Somebody come get this man. I think he's a coon. Back in 2014, he criticized black people who were protesting for Mike Brown. Of course, I'm sure he realized the backlash he got on this was going to affect his bag. So of course, he changed his support for the BLM movement when it came to George Floyd in 2020. One could argue, oh, maybe Travis has changed. You know, Michael Brown, that was 2014. Yes, people change. Okay. But I have a problem with someone who would actually open their mouths to just say dumb things on a public platform because they're just clearly ignorant. Like, do your research before you make certain statements. But I digress. You can find so many other articles and videos just showing how much this man promotes violence at his concerts, amongst his fans. He doesn't care about people's safety. He doesn't care about people's health clearly, and I just don't really see why he even has so much support at this time. I feel like I'm not going to say let's cancel this person. I'm sick of cancel culture myself, but can we just, <laughs> there's got to be something done. 
he doesn't deserve this bag in my opinion the support has got to go down something i don't know these are just some of my thoughts let me know what you guys think in the comments below are you a supporter of travis scott do you listen to his music what are your thoughts on Astro World about him as a person? Leave them in the comments below. I will see y'all down there. Be sure to follow me on social media. Check out my music and I will catch you all in the next video.